we got the boga for Narasimhadev. Look at that. It's all packed. It's all going to be offered very soon to Lord Narasimhadev. And I'm going to show you something really cool. The whole boga purchase costed exactly. Are you ready for the trigger? Trigger alert. Hundred and eight dollars. Exactly. Exactly hundred and eight. Isn't that epic? <laughs> So what are we making actually? They're gonna be cheesecake. You notice the pineapples it can be pineapple chutney Lost tray the extra tray for either someone we forgot or some random dude Coming Okay, look at this Everyone is ready Nah, we bought some prasad Jai Narsimha Dev Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Jai Narsimha Dev Jai Narsimha Dev Jai Narsimha Dev Jai Narsimha Dev Prasadam What? What's happening? Like you came through the fence or something The fence together? No, we just like. And what are you doing? Right what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what a nice surprise! Sorry. We're gonna roll. Okay. More stops today? Yeah. What a beautiful day to drive around, distribute some mercy. Have mercy. Rome, hurry, hurry! And here's the key so that you can dig into this treasury. Tune into the vision by moving with it. They don't know we're coming either. Hare Krishna from Thank you so much for helping with this. Yeah. We haven't made our offering yet, but tomorrow you'll get a little. <laughs> I like your kurta, very nice. Jan the Singh Adev! You coming to the evening program? Yeah. Chicken with emotion saying I'm closer to its manifestation. Uh, yes, Susan. This is the air You have a surprise outside, and so. Krishna um, Police! We're not really sure what your apartment is, but we're parked outside your building. Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy. Did she use that to show me? Everything you want is already here. Here, here, here. Everything you. What did Devin say? You said. The whole house smelled good. Jai. Howdy Oh gosh, so where do I start? So some of you probably already noticed I changed the name of the channel recently. It's not longer The Living Monk, but Living Rama. So why did I do that? To be honest, I was planning to do that already for quite some time. And I was just going back and forth, understand how I'll make it more relatable and pick the right time to do it. But in another sense, I think I was just running away. Running away from the simple, plain reason that I'm just not a monk. <laughs> in fact, I was never a monk. Two years ago when I started this channel, I was still playing that role. He joined me exactly when I left my temple environment in Montreal in Spain, where I, where I spent about six years of my life. <laughs> I remember exactly how the first series of videos that I launched here on the channel was me heading back to Israel after I haven't been there for like nearly a decade. <laughs> and yes, pretty much you joined me in the, in the middle of this huge journey in my personal self-discovery. New people, many new faces. And I really intended to put myself in the center of the channel. It was more to broadcast bigger message of free, exciting, experimental, spontaneous spiritual life. So anyone can join and take something to his own personal journey. Recently in my Sattva Tov experience, which in few words, it's personal self-realization seminar. And I am planning to share with you explicitly about the seminars and what I went through there in a separate video. So just subscribe and bear with me. So in there I realized that I'm keeping myself aloof and playing a role of a monk and throughout my life in general. Instead of sharing with you my world and my life, I met an imaginary character that I created to hide from you. I used the living monk as a mask to keep myself comfortable under some imaginary title. But the truth is that I'm tired of playing someone else's role, someone else's life, 
In fact, I started my spiritual journey for the very same reason. I felt like a complete fake, like I'm borrowing someone else's life, someone else's identity. And I became super eager to reveal myself, make myself vulnerable, uncomfortable, and do what it takes to be truly who I am. And fortunately, in the last few months in my journey, through these transformational seminars, I became aware that I'm sinking into the same pattern that I used before. Hiding from myself, hiding from the people I love, hiding from the people that I want to love, hiding from the people that love me, and hiding myself from you. So the truth is that I was never a monk, I'm not a monk, and I'll never be a monk. I am me, I am Rama, and I'm just living, and this is what the channel is all about. I'm just like you, I'm full of desires, full of hankerings, doubts, concerns, fears, uncertainty. I'm not any sort of a spiritually exalted personality that maybe some of you like me to be. Maybe because you don't believe enough in yourself. But you're not good enough to live spiritually from wherever you're coming. So sometimes you would consider me to be that person. But the fact is that I am not. I'm actually just like you. I have the same struggles, the same issues with my financial life, romantic life, family life, education, so many issues I have. <laughs> and I want this video to be a symbol of a new start. In fact, I want to hold you accountable for me starting my relationship with you over again. If you would like to participate and hold me accountable, use the comment section down below to send me feedback or just say, be real. And yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen next, but if you're with me, I'm sure it's gonna be another exciting adventure into self-realization. Just keep this memory central